Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Are you receiving speeds like these? Well in this video I'll be showing you multiple methods which will hopefully be used to download speeds and even get doubled and download any game faster. So Fortnite, Rocket League, Roll Company, you name it. And in my current example, I'll be downloading multiple different games which will allow me to show you guys the results in real time. Now before we jump into that, if you guys are still stuck even after doing the method or need help in doing so, you can become a member of my channel and get one to one instant help. In bronze tier, you get priority reply to comments and an exclusive wallpaper. In silver tier, you get all from before and you get a shout out and get to play custom games with me. In gold tier, you get all from bronze and silver and you get access to my social media and members only chat room, exclusive member only videos and discounted merch. Remember, by becoming a member, you will get personal help from me. Also, consider subscribing if you will, but without other way, let's get started. So as you can see from the side to side comparison, the boost isn't tremendously fast where it's unreal. All you're getting is a decent boost of a couple of megabits for me at least. If you guys experience a great boost, let me know in the comments below. This method that I'm about to show you juices up all your internet and also decreases your ping. So it's a win-win. Before we even get onto the steps, I highly recommend you guys to use an ethernet cable. This will give you much higher speeds and less interference. So your download speeds will go from kilobytes to megabytes. But enough of that. Let's get started. Anyways, to do this, press the Windows key and the R key. This will bring up the run command. In here, write percent app data percent. Go back by once and head into local. This will bring up files for all installed softwares on your PC. Look for Epic's game launcher, then head inside the save folder, followed by config and then windows. Over here, look for engine and open it. I'll have this code in the description for you guys to copy. Paste this into the engine file and save by going into file and then save. You'll know when it's saved when the asterisk symbol has disappeared. Once this is done, that's all there is to it. As you can see, the speeds have increased. Now remember this method may benefit you a lot or it may not even work for you at all. But there's no harm in trying to see if it works and it's really easy to set up. If you haven't already, download SG TCP Optimizer. I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. This program is necessary for low pings and possible zero at times. So once you're here, download and open it. Once open, these settings can be quite daunting. But don't worry, it's not that bad as it looks. If you follow exactly as what I do, then you will get this done in no time. Here's the timestamp to the start of this step, in case you need to go back. Before we start, make sure you're in the general settings tab. At the bottom where it says choose settings, change whatever it's on to optimal and then to custom. I'll repeat that again. Change it to optimal first and then custom. Next, you see the slide over here. This is the connection speed slider. So obviously move this to the max. It doesn't matter what your connection speed is, but changing this to the max will give you a great boost. Next, on the network adapter selection, choose this option that I have. For you, it might be slightly different, but that's okay. As long as the option is generally about the same. Make sure your MTU is at 1500, not higher or lower. 1500 is a sweet spot. Put a TCP window auto tuning on normal. Windows scaling on disabled, congestion control provider from cubic to CTCP. And keep the last one enabled. On the right hand side, put everything on disabled except for checksum offloading. Remember, you must keep checksum offloading enabled only, otherwise you will get a bunch of lag spikes. For the second part of this step, make sure you're in advanced settings tab. Under an internet explorer optimization, keep both values on 10. Under the host resolution priority, put local priority on 4, host priority on 5, DNS priority on 6 and net BT priority on 7. So in the order 4, 5, 6, 7. Easy to remember but that's just the way it is. Under the retransmission tab, change the first box to 2 and keep the other one disabled. For retransmit timeout, keep initial on 2000 and minimum on 300. For type or quality of service, keep the top box blank but change the second one to optimal 1 as shown. Under gaming tweak, put network on disabled, system on gaming 0. For frequency, put a disabled 1. For delay, put enabled 1. And for ticks, put a disabled 0. Under network memory allocation, keep the first box on default 0 and change the second one to default 1. Hit apply changes and this ends the complicated segment. And trust me guys, this will not destroy your PC. If it won't harm your PC in any way, then why would I be doing it to my own? If you got this far, consider subscribing. It's free and your support will much be appreciated by the mobs community. For the next step, search Windows Update Deliver. 
At first, it may not appear, but once you type more of the word, it will eventually pop up. Make sure this setting, allow downloads from other PCs, is checked off. So while you're playing Fortnite, Windows might just randomly start updating, and this will completely destroy your ping and give you insane amount of lag spikes. So turning this setting off is highly recommended. The next thing you want to do is go to advanced options and change absolute bandwidth to percentage. Check mark both boxes and move the sliders to the lowest possible. And repeat the exact same thing for upload settings. So check both boxes and move the slider to the bare minimum. To do this, open task manager by holding on the shift key and control key together. Then press escape. The task manager should now pop up. If it hasn't, then you can try the other way by holding down the control and alt key together then pressing delete. Mind you, the delete key is in the backspace key, the one with the arrow on it. You're looking for the key that has delete written on it. Once task manager is open, open Epic Games Launcher or if it is already open then that's good. But from here on onwards, make sure Epic Games Launcher is open all the time. Otherwise, you will have difficulties in doing this method. So once task manager is open, head over to the details tab then look for Epic Games Launcher. An easy way to do this is select any software on screen then continuously press the E key until you have found the Epic Games Launcher. Once you have found Epic Games Launcher, right click it. This will bring up a bunch of options. The only setting we're messing with is the priority one. So hover over set priority or select it. In doing so, a list of options will appear ranging from real time to low. Whatever you do, do not select real time. A real time priority can never be preempted by time interrupts and runs at a higher priority than any other thread in the system. As such, a CPU bound real time priority can ruin your PC. So the option we're going for is high. Once selected, your download speed may stop for a while, but give it some time to calibrate. If your speeds still haven't changed, then try restarting Epic Games Launcher, as this worked for me upon restarting. But double check that the priority is still set to high, because it may reset back to normal upon restarting. And that's all there pretty much is to it. We have now arrived at the final step. If you're still here, make sure to subscribe to show some support and it would make my day. For this step, we will be flushing a DNS. This will clean up some old browsing cache from all the sites and all the data slowing your PC down. Pay close attention to what I do and follow the exact steps. Otherwise, you may totally mess up and have to do it all over again. For this, head over to your Windows search bar and search for CMD. Right click it and run as administrator. Once open, it should be a black window with System32 opened. Type carefully and exactly as what I do in order. Mind you, it must be in admin mode, otherwise it may not work. Type ipconfig space slash flush DNS. Hit enter. Then write ipconfig space slash register DNS. Hit enter. Then write ipconfig space slash release hit enter and then type ipconfig space slash renew and hit enter again and then finally write net sh space winsock space reset hit enter and after doing this restart your pc and that's every way in increasing your download speed for epic games launcher Remember, if the method doesn't work for you, it's usually due to some setting enabled in your PC. Become a member of my channel and I personally will help you till you're satisfied. I do have a Discord where you can pin up distress and someone will help you. Stay posted for some leaks and the weekly challenge video will be coming back. Anyways, stay tuned.